What's up guys? On today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a printer plug. So this video is to those that have either a printer or you guys are interested in a printer and you guys wanna know what the maintenance is about. We've got a clogged head issue. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and what we use to fix this issue. So first and foremost, we use a DTG Pro cleaning solutions and this is what we normally use. It's basically their cleaning solution. We put it in a easy dispenser, which I'll show you guys later. If there is a harder issue to tackle, we usually use their extreme cleaning solution. Again, I was running really low and I tried this solution and it didn't work for us. So I decided to go on their website. I found Purple Hammer, which is a newer product that they carry. I've heard good things about them, but I, we've never given it a shot. So we went ahead and ordered it and it worked for us. But let me give you guys a back end story to exactly what happened. So we came back on a long weekend at a Monday morning and we saw a bunch of ink just overflowing from our printer. It was all over the floor. This was just one of our printers that we use and we didn't know exactly what was happening. We wasn't sure if it was the printhead carriage that was leaking, the tube might've been apart. After digging through this, trying to figure out what was happening, we found out that it was a bad damper and it just basically dripped over the whole weekend and basically all the white ink cleared through the printhead, overflowed, dropped on the floor and over the weekend, it dried up and we just had really bad results after we cleaned everything up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results of what was happening before we used the Purple Hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a printhead nozzle check. So those that are not familiar, this is our white head channel. So there's a bunch of tiny, tiny nozzles right here that show the quality of the printhead. And as you guys can see right here, it is really, really bad, very, very terrible. Obviously it needed some work. We tried soaking it with regular solution, it didn't work at all. So that's where we ordered the purple hammer. We left it on for about 30 minutes and then we tried to do another two or three head cleans and it started clearing out. And that's where we started getting results like this. So this is what happened guys. It started clearing out. It wasn't perfect, but it brought back the head and it was almost about 90%. And this is a white channel. So this was really good enough to get by and it helped save us quite some bit on having to replace a print head. I just wanted to say this may or may not work for you. It really depends. I've seen if you have a head strike through the film, that's really hard to get rid of. And I don't think that this solution would work for that. But for us, it was slightly a dry print head that happened over the weekend and the solution did work for us. It could be the timing. I'm just not sure. Make sure you guys actually do your research. And as a last resort, I recommend trying this because it could help save you money. But I really don't know what's in this solution. We've already tried a tough cleaning solution, which I really don't recommend leaving over extensive periods of time as well. But the Purple Hammer worked for us. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we add the solution to the printhead capping station. So we're gonna go ahead and move our printer, jog it to the side. Now, we used to use a syringe, but over time with solution in here, it actually gets pretty clogged up. Some of this starts getting pretty stiff and hard to use. So I started just using these bottles that we get from Amazon and it's pretty great. So I'll have a link below, but we just fill it with the solution that we want to use. And in this scenario, if it's going to be cleaning or just a webcat solution, literally just using that, filling that up. So we do this as well when we wet cap. So I just fill it up like that. If I need to top it off, and then I'll just go ahead and cap it, make sure that the carriage sits right on top of the cleaning solution. And for us, we left it for about 30 minutes and it cleared up the print head. I'm not sure you guys can try it yourself. I would probably recommend doing it in small intervals, not just doing it for like an hour or overnight and seeing how it goes because you might just damage the print head all the way. So guys, just take it as an incremental step and see if it works for you because it worked for us. So I'll have a link below in case you guys are interested in the product. Let me know if you guys have any question or you guys are familiar with using the Purple Hammer. Also, let me know. I'll catch you guys on the next one.